Hello, hello, and welcome to Two Minutes with an Art Eater. As always, I'm your host, Kayla Quiros. I'm super jazzed to introduce the amazing Johnny Martinez. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> what is your year, major, and pronouns? Um, I'm a third year um, junior. I'm actually a transfer student. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a jazz studies music major, and I use a he, him pronouns. When did you start playing your instrument? So I started drum set about close to 11 years ago. That was just drums and I, you know, I'd messed around with a lot of other mm -hmm. instruments. I started piano when I was four, guitar when I was about eight, mm -hmm. but my primary instrument, which is drum set, which was about 11 years ago. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. How does jazz music inspire you? Every day. I mean, there's some new way of it inspiring me. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, whether that's the communication between the musicians or just the history of it and mm -hmm. the stories that come out of the music is also one thing that inspires me and just trying to improve on areas that are constantly being improved. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always room for improvement with this music, which is kind of why it drives me to always practice every day, mm -hmm. at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me about the upcoming jazz concert. Uh, so the Jazz Combos concert oh, is <laughs> really cool. No, no worries. The Jazz Combos concert is really cool. It's mm -hmm. three different combos directed by three different professors. Uh, we have one directed by Dr. Bobby Rodriguez, mm -hmm. one directed by Professor Dark Oles, and the other is by Professor Kei Akagi, mm -hmm. which is the one I'm performing in. And each group consists of different students, different instrumentation, and mm -hmm. different styles of music that you're gonna hear, which is really cool. And each professor kind of directs the band in their own way, in their own fashion, which is kind of, you can hear it in the concert, which is the mm -hmm. cool part. You can hear what, what the band has been focusing on and you could hear the students kind of like intermingle with each other mm -hmm. when they're soloing or when they're just playing the head of the tune. Does it? <laughs> I don't know how to phrase this question, but does the music also like change with jazz in the middle of it yeah it's As, it, it's <laughs> always no that's that. that's yeah but. no it's always changing um you know jazz <laughs> is kind of built off improvisation mm -hmm. um and with that said it's kind of like i like to think of it more of like improv around a structure mm -hmm. so there's there's like a baseline yeah. structure that everybody knows and everybody's familiar with now how are we going to work around that and mm -hmm. that structure can either be the melody or just the chord progression or even just mm -hmm. the form of the song um which is cool and yeah. you know some people even change up the melody i mean oftentimes yeah. you don't change up the form but mm -hmm. a lot of it is improv so what you hear in the rehearsals will never be the same mm -hmm. as when you hear it in another rehearsal or in the concert yeah. so it's it's a one of a kind experience which is cool that's really cool. It's like you're seeing the process, not just exactly. the product of it. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, I think it's time for speed round. Speed round. <laughs> so let's get started. For sure. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Favorite Disney character? Oof, Aladdin. Best movie of all time? <laughs> Whiplash. Favorite musician? Uh, Mel Lewis. And then what sound does an anteater make? Zot, zot, zot. <laughs> Yay! All right, well, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. It's been a good time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Stay safe and zot, zot, zot. <laughs>